My name is Anthony Chow, the director of the San Jose State High School. Uh, I wanted to welcome everyone to the second installment of the iSchool Speaker Series uh, and, uh, and final um, uh, activity and celebration of Hispanic Heritage uh, Month. Again, I'm, I'm Dr. Michelle Villagran, the chair of the iSchool Diversity Committee and assistant professor in the School of Information. And I also want to welcome you to today's webinar, Collaborating for Success, a Hispanic Heritage Month case study. I would now like to introduce our speakers for today. Nicanor Diaz, Neighborhood Services or Immigrant Services Manager, and Nadia Rendon, Spanish Services Coordinator with the Biblioteca Pública de Denver, Denver Public Library. I believe that libraries owe their entire community services and programs, and that includes their Spanish speaking community. And we need to make sure that everyone, that we provide access to resources and materials and services to everyone in our library system, in our community, regardless of what language they speak. We are the ones who have to try and put resources into connecting with our Spanish speaking communities. And it's not that they don't use the library because they don't want to, it's most likely because the library is really not connecting with the Spanish speaking community. And we're not producing the services and programs that they need. And in order to find out what that is, we have to build a relationship with that community and we have to collaborate with them. If we are providing English only genealogy programs, then we're not doing justice to our Spanish speaking communities and we should be able to, to provide those. And the more that Nadia and folks like Nicolas can do these types of programs in Spanish and the more our library staff and our library administration see the impact that it has in our community, then the more we'll be able to do this outside of Hispanic Heritage Month and just include this in a regular, regular programming series. We have one publication in Spanish, it's called Conexiones, and we have one publication in English, it's called Engage. And we have them come in every first of the month and they highlight events and articles that our own staff can write. Everybody was very willing to help, support and participate in being part of this effort. I didn't, encounter any like uh, blocks on the road to do this at all. Um, what you've really highlighted or what I've heard today, it's about community. Who is your community? How can you really provide valuable, um, insightful, highlighting programs that really connect with your communities, but also the importance and the value of the partnerships and collaborating, whether it's internal or external agencies or community partners out there to ensure you have successful programs. Um, especially for public libraries, remember we are getting paid with taxpayers' money to serve the community. So you have to serve the community. It's like a, our ethical responsibility to do that. 